Hi everybody, this is Alessandra Ziviani. I'm coming to you live from CPAC. Uh, we are going to be doing a makeup uh, mustache application tutorial today. Um, I have my mustache. Um, this is my, it's a lace back mustache. You can see the lace right here. And this is actually a human hair mustache. Um, and it's my human hair that I actually made this a long time ago. And I tied every one of these little hairs of my hair onto this little lace net uh, mustache. So, which was, took a long time. Um, but now I have this amazing mustache. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do a proper application of it. I'm just going to put a little foundation on my face. I've got primer on my face. Um, I'm not going to do a full, um, female to male, um, application today. Um, just because I'm trying to keep this, uh, short since we've had so many, uh, longer, uh, makeup applications recently. So I'm just really quickly going to put um, this, I'm putting a darker tone on my skin uh, than I normally would. Um, it's just kind of a light beige from Ben Nye and I'm just applying it and I'm leaving, um, I'm going to leave my, my lip line, uh, not, I'm not going to put any foundation on my lip line and I'm actually just going to wipe it off to get any kind of like dirt or, um, you know, moisture off of my upper lip. Hello. What? <laughs> A natural mustache. Well, interesting. <laughs> I can't speak to that yet. Another wonderful thing to look forward to. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm just covering up my face right now. Um, with a little more of this um, foundation. I'm just going to do a really light because I don't want it to look, again, this is going to be a, a man's look, so I don't want to put too much foundation on. Who knows? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll feel, maybe we'll see how fast this, take, this takes and I'll do the whole thing for you. Um, okay, so here we go. Okay, so the important thing about mustache application is, um, first of all, having a really dry, clean surface. Um, having a dry, clean surface um, to put place your netting on because the netting is actually really fine. And then um, is the, also the, um, the process of actually sticking it to your lip. You never want to put, you're going to be using spirit gum. If you've ever used spirit gum before, you know this is really sticky, sticky stuff. So um, you never want to apply your spirit gum directly to the netting of the mustache. You want to apply it directly to your skin. So hold on a second. My spirit um, is not wanting to open. Ugh. Come on. Uh oh. Oh no. My hands are all sweaty. Hold on a second. Let me get this open. There we go. Oh, disaster diverted. Once it, once again, never panic. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where I'm going to be putting the um, the glue. So what I want to do is I really want to, this is where I want to make sure it's the most secure. And I'm going to smile because when you're on stage, you're going to be moving your face all over the place. So you want to make sure that you can kind of tell where your, where your, how your mouth is moving when you make different faces so you know exactly where to place the glue. So I'm gonna definitely put it right here and then I ha I'm gonna put it in this area as well to seal it down. And I might do a little bit of dab dab here as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my spirit gum. I'm not gonna get too much. I'm just gonna apply it in the center up to my nose and down to my uh, Cupid's bow, that's what that's called. And then over, kind of in my nasal labial fold, just right there, and bring it down a little bit because my netting is actually fairly, um, it's a fairly large net, and I want it to catch everywhere, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just going like this. And now I'm just gonna wait a minute because I don't want it to be 
and this is where a lot of people um, do it incorrectly, you are supposed to wait a minute before you apply your mustache. You don't want it sticky, you want it tacky. And it's kind of a hard distinction. This is um, still more mostly wet, more than sticky. So um, when it gets tacky, it's, it's more like putty-esque uh, when you touch it on your finger. So that's the texture I want because it's gonna hold the mustache better. And it's getting there, it's a little bit. I'm just feeling it. A few more seconds. I'm gonna. <sighs> All right, so here we go. So now what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna get it close to you, and I'm gonna put my mustache on first here, right in the center. And I'm just tapping it down with my finger. And I'm looking at my placement in the mirror. And then I'm gonna just also take my netting. I'm, I don't have my hair. This is the hair. I'm taking the netting and I'm tapping it down. Just like that. Tap, tap. Okay, I'm gonna get my netting because I don't want the hair to get attached necessarily. Here we go. So here we go. This is my mustache. Now I could leave it like this. I've, I've, I have also, um, I'm feeling a little, here we go. I just want to make sure it's stuck. And you know, what you're going to do is you're going to continue to check it. A little tip also, if you're, you know, in a very active show and you have to wear a mustache, you always should have a little baby, like a little baby version of the spirit gum hidden off stage. Um, so that if you need to do a touch up really quick, when you, if you run off stage, you can, and you feel like your mustache is about to fall off, you have a little bit of spirit gum stowed away on either wing side of the stage so that you don't have that horrible feeling of your mustache falling off your face in the middle of a, you know, important scene, which, you know, I'm sure lots of the gentlemen out there have stories about their mustaches. Um, and their sh the shenanigans of their mustaches. So what I'm gonna do now is like, I want to pull, I want this to kind of stay up cause I'm kind of trying to do a comic look. So I'm gonna do just a, I got it to do this really well. So I'm gonna style it a little bit. I've got this kind of styling wax right here and I'm just gonna kind of smooth it out a little bit with a styling wax, just like that and kind of fluff it too, just like that. And I'm going to actually put a little bit of, I can do this cause this is um, human hair and I'm gonna wash it in alcohol afterwards. If you have synthetic hair, you never wanna put the spirit gum on it at all um, cause it will ruin it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of spirit gum on my cheek cause then I'm gonna stick my mustache hair to it. And so it'll look like I have, you know, magic whiskers that just stay up by themselves. I'm just gonna let it get tacky. And then I'll work with this one. This one kind of got uncurled a little bit. I have to recurl it. it. Wants to move this way. It's kind of like a garden hose, you know, trying to figure out which way it wants to curl. Okay, so it's a little bit tacky. So I'm just gonna, actually I wanna get a bigger piece of the actual hair portion. And that's where the glue is. So here we go. I'm going to pull this down. And I'm just going to kind of gently tap it here. Mm. Mm. And it almost looks like I'm like at a magical wizard or some something. Because <laughs> my hair stands by itself. So here, let's see, this guy's giving me some problems. It's counterintuitive looking in the mirror and trying to figure out how to put this up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's what it wants to do. And here I go with the spirit gum again, just a little bit on my cheek right here. And I'm gonna let it dry. You know what I might do as I was considering this, since we were doing um, 
scar wax last week. I, I was thinking I might just really quickly give myself a little bulbous nose, like a little, little gin nose. Um, hold on a second. Let's look at some problems. Stay there. Stick. So I might do that because I feel like maybe a handled curly mustache man would have a, you know, preference for gin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this uh, scar wax like I did last time. And I'm just really quickly going to wet my hands. Hold on a second. Ooh, I've got a spray bottle with some water. I'm wetting my hands because, again, uh, the wax requires wet hands. And I'm just going to roll it up into a little bit of a ball. And I don't have, I've ordered my latex because I was having problems with it sticking to my face uh, last time around, but it hasn't arrived yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on the place where I'm going to stick my latex, I'm actually going to stick my, some spirit gum. So I'm going to do it on the tip of my nose right here. So let me get my spirit gum and I'm going to make my bottom of my nose just bigger, bulbous, and I'm going to let it wa uh, dry for a minute, and I'm just mess, now I'm just going to mess with my wax in a way that I think I'm going to get a little bit more also, and again, I'm just using, oh, this little guy, there's always one side that doesn't want to cooperate. Okay. I'll fix him later. He'll, he'll get in line later. All right. All right. So here we go. And I'm going to feel my nose. It's still not tacky enough for where I want it yet. So I'm just waiting for my nose to dry. It's getting there. Okay. So I'm going to do this. And again, with the with the wax, I'm just gonna stick it on here. I'm gonna let it sit here for a second so that it really sticks to the spirit gum. And then I'm gonna work it. And I'm gonna work it up this way. And I'm just gonna kind of flatten it down and pull it up like this. Push it down a little bit. And you know, this is good for like, you know, when you're doing a look that you're gonna go maybe to a Halloween party or something like that, or um, yeah, something like that, Halloween party, that you're gonna wear it for a couple hours. Um, otherwise, you know, um, for like movie sets and for, you know, longer events or more active, like, or if you have like a walk-on, of a character you could do something like this because it actually you know um no i didn't cut off my own hair this is well i cut it off a long time ago this i made this mustache when i was in a uh, undergrad at san jose state and i s cut a portion of my hair and then sewed it together so i'm just gonna get some of this excess off here. So, but if you were gonna be doing something that's more like a movie set or something like that, you definitely wanna be using a latex um, mold, which is much more in depth. I actually, um, also for the same makeup um, class, the advanced class, I had we made 
life casts of our faces that I still have in a box. And uh, what you're supposed to do is there's a way it's your whole face. It doesn't change. It's your face for your life. So you can cast because um, it's a plaster. It's like a plaster version of my face and then little cutouts of like my eye, my nose, my chin so that I can put clay on it um, covered in latex, cast it it dries and you pull it out and now you have a piece of latex that actually fits over your your personal nose your personal eye it's really cool um, and you can do a lot of things with it and it's definitely more secure than using um, FX wax you know the FX wax it's it's convenient because it's quick and you can get a desired look and I'm just right now what I'm doing is I'm kind of just stippling it because if I had a gin nose, you know, those drinking noses, they're um, kind of splotchy and and uh, bulbous and like with a broken capillary. So I'm kind of trying to give the impression of like a rough, a rough nose and I'll get closer in a second. Right. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover it with um, the same color of that I'm using for my base. And I'm just going to get in there like that. And I'm also going to put, so now it looks like I have a completely different big old nose. And I'm going to color, I'm going to shade it as well in a second. So here we go. It looks like from the side view, my nose. Um, and I'm just going to get it in there. I'm just kind of smoothing out the, the sides where it, the kind of the spots where it's a little bit more obvious that it's not connected. So I'm just kind of like getting close and looking and adjusting. There we go. And again, you know, this is something you can do with highlight and shadow as well. You know, we did that. Uh, I did, I did that a couple, um, episodes back. Um, but this just really, if you're, especially if you're in profile, it just gives a whole different, look okay so I'm just gonna quickly I'm gonna powder my face a little bit here um, just to set everything so it doesn't smear while I'm doing other stuff I'm just gonna put a little bit more foundation on I'm gonna look under here make sure I've got some foundation on under there I'm not gonna worry about my mischievous side of my mustache right now <laughs> mrs. Doubtfire careful with this one she's an old lady okay so now let me put some powder on my face so that it starts to stick and I'm gonna clean my mustache out that stuff in it already all right so here we go I'm just gonna powder a little bit and then I'm gonna go back in with um, powder um, highlight and shadow and also powder to make it look like I broke some capillaries in here all right so I just have my basic Ben Nye highlight and shadow Got my name on it <laughs> and here we go with my nose so I'm gonna just deep it I'm gonna widen my nose so here we go that's what I'm doing with this shadow widening it widening it and deepening it down here and also I'm gonna do I'm call I'm following the bulbousness of my it of it so I'm kind of going just around the whole roundness of my nose right and then I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight on the t on the top just like that it's a little too much, but hold on. <laughs> Got a shiny white nose. So that's okay. I'm going to cover it with some, uh, uh, I'm going to cover it with some red in a second. So I'm just going to do this a little bit here. I 
I'm gonna follow this up because we're doing man makeup. So remember the ocular, the, the eye sockets are deeper. Like that. We do my chiseled jawline. My kind of L shape. You're gonna kind of miss it on this side, but I was thinking I kind of look like Daniel Day Lewis from There Will Be Blood a little bit. A little bit. And I'm gonna deepen here. Deepen here. Okay, my nose is sticking pretty well. There's a little bit of powder there I wanna get rid of, but okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna get a red color, kind of this bright red. Actually, no, I'm gonna use this dusty red right here because it looks more natural. And I'm gonna get a brush, I kinda of want a small brush because I wanna just kind of tap in like red coloring and red markings on my nose. I just want to do kind of like that. And then I'm going to little shade it a little bit to give me some pink on my nose. Like broken. And I'm going to do it over here too. Like little broken capillaries and things like that. You know little broken capillaries here. It's also kind of like I have a stuffy nose too. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more highlight here on my actual nostril. And I'm gonna widen actually my nostril here too just to give it a little bit more depth because I'm kind of losing my nostril because my nose is so big so I'm just kind of adding some shadow into it and I'm gonna do a little bit of red under my eye making like a just like that a little bit like I've been up all night up all night potty every day ah. And I'm just blending it in a little bit, a little bit like that. And I'm now I'm going to fix my, uh, I'm going to blend this a little bit and I'm going to actually put a little bit of highlight here, highlight here, highlight here, and highlight here. Okay. Doing a highlight and shadow here just to get me, make my man look again, right? And uh, I'm gonna do my jawline. And this is what I did last time too. You're making your jawline very angular. I'm gonna put a little shadow here. Gotta move my mustache to do it. Oops fix this mustache in a second. Okay, so I'm gonna fix my mustache now and then I'm gonna work on my eyebrows. So here we go, I'm gonna put a little bit of that spirit gum on there. I'm gonna let it rest. I'm gonna spread it out just a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna figure out again what this mustache wants to do. The mustache has a, wit, a mind of its own. It's a force to be reckoned with, okay. And I'm just gonna wait just a little bit longer because I don't feel like it's really tacky yet. Okay, here we go. And I wanna puff it out a little bit. I wanna, this, I want the top part of this curl to kind of stay, maybe a little, little bit of the inner curl. But then I kind of want to puff this part out. It's just for me, for my personal aesthetic. 
there we are okay so now the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix my eyebrows maybe not the last thing okay I want them to be bushy and if I had another netting I might just net over and make my eyebrows big I would love them to be like huge like my mustache but I don't have that capability right now so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fluff my eyebrows out with where's my spoolie well where are my tools I'm looking for my spoolie I don't see it so I'm just going to improvise. I'm going to use this um, comb. I'm just kind of messy, messing with my actual eyebrows and I'm going against the grain and I'm bringing it towards my face. Oh, I just hurt my nose. Okay, I'm going to do it again. Okay. Towards my eye, towards this part of my eyebrow. Messing it up. Just make sure I didn't mess my nose up too bad. And then I'm going to take this, some of this wax and I'm just going to kind of, again, go against the grain and kind of force it up a little bit so it looks kind of crazy. Like I want some wild eyebrows. So here we go. Making them look kind of bushy. You know, like man's eyebrows get sometimes, like totally unruly. Yeah, that's what I want. Totally unruly eyebrows. So that's what I'm doing, pushing them up. And then I'm gonna fill them in because you can kind of see when I'm pushing them up, I've got gaps in my own eyebrows. So here we go. So now I'm gonna just fill in with a little bit of brown because my, you know, my last time I did a really dark color for the eyebrow, but now I just kind of wanna, I want it to match my, uh, my mustache so and I'm just making them a little bit thicker also haha <laughs> and I'm just kind of flailing them out yep and I was making them like big big old caterpillar eyebrows that most men have <laughs> we go my caterpillar eyebrows and I'm just looking at my nose again and I think that I'm just gonna put a little bit more I need to do this little shadow right here I think I messed it up with my with my uh when I used my um comb I kind of messed up my nose a little bit that's the other thing that is a, about scar wax is that it's really easy to screw up if you touch it when you're not supposed to touch it. It kind of, um, you know, cause it's, it's soft. So if you touch it, <laughs> you're gonna get a dent in it. So now I'm just gonna put a little bit more of this like little red powder again to kind of make me look like I got a drink, old drinking nose. There we go, a little, and a little bit more kind of redness up in here. And then that's pretty much it for this look. I had a, where's my bandana? I had a bandana. Here it is. Cause I was gonna do kind of like a 60s guy here. Yeah. Kind of like, what's up? Mustache. You're my mustache, man. Lieutenant Dan! I'm Lieutenant Dan Taylor. I was Lieutenant Dan Taylor. You still are Lieutenant Dan. I do look like Lieutenant Dan. Um, thanks, CC. That made my day. So this is my somewhat brief uh, 
tutorial on mustaches and my messed up gin nose. Yeah. I think it needs a little bit of highlight. See, now I'm just, you can, can go on and on and on. Oop. On and on and on forever with the different things. But there we go. And that's it for today. That's Makeup Monday. Forrest, when you're stripping boat, Captain, I'll come and be your first mate. You wrote me a letter, you idiot. All right. I could quote Forrest Gump all day, but I'm not going to because <laughs> you'll get annoyed with me real quick. Anyway, happy Makeup Monday. This is a mustache. This is a a nose made of wax. Next week, I'm going to do more of this wax, but I'm going to do this water nymph thing. I will have all my tools by then, hopefully, and we'll be good to go. Good to go. Thanks for tuning in, guys, uh, and I will see you next Makeup Monday on Monday. Watch us on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel. Like us on Facebook. Bye.